Um, welcome to 2019. Each year at the beginning of the year, I try to get really quiet and get into the Bible, you know, a person of faith, and try to hear what God is saying to me for that particular year, for, you know, for this year. And um, this morning, I actually stumbled across this chapter in the Bible from the book of Romans chapter 12. And for those of you who are not Bible people, uh, you can, you'll understand what I'm saying if you just follow along with the principles. There was so much in there, in this chapter, that I, that applied to me, and I hope you can gain some insight from, but I have to break it down into three quick videos, because there's so much. I'm going to read the first three verses, or the first four verses for you, and just break it down as to what that meant to me. So it starts, it starts off by saying, um, therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, of course, in view of God's mercy to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. It goes on to say, do not think of yourself more highly than you should, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment, sober judgment, in accordance with the measure of faith God has given to you. I'm going to stop right there. Like I said, there's a lot more in this particular chapter, but I'll stop right there. The first three things that spoke to me was the whole aspect of you know, um, offering your bodies as living sacrifices. And this whole topic of self-care and mental health has been so prevalent of late uh, and, is, and for good reason. And one of the things that I definitely am going to focus on this year, and I'm hoping entrepreneurs and, uh, and just everyone in general would really focus on, is the whole aspect of taking better care of yourself. Um, I'm not going to sit here and talk about that in great detail, but... Um, I think we all know that every year we get older. I'm celebrating a birthday in two weeks. Every year we get older. But what I find nowadays is that health care is not just a topic for the old people anymore. I mean, I'm looking around, I'm listening to the news, I'm seeing in my family, I'm seeing friends are getting real terrible illnesses in their 20s, you know, and even in their teens. So one of the things that I took away was like really focus on my own self-care, balance. Um, if you're ill, you can't really pray. If you're ill, you can't really pursue your dreams, your passions. If you're feeling off your game mentally, physically, emotionally, I mean, you really are not much used to your family, um, to, you know, to really to anyone. And so self-care is a big thing for me, a big topic for me this year. Um, this is my spiritual act of worship. Um, worship to God. I want to be at my, at my best self for God. Be at my best self for myself, my family, for my friends, for my peers, for people who depend on me, um, for my community. And that begins with a decision to put myself first. So that's one of the things I took away from that. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mental care. Mental health. Negativity and negative thoughts are a natural occurrence. As a matter of fact, our go-to thinking is negative, fearful, um, bad case scenario. We hardly get up and think positive. I mean, at least, at least I know I don't. I think when I approach a problem, I tend to see the, okay, the what if this doesn't work out part? Or I have to make a big decision and anxiety sets in. And so this year, I'm taking some advice from my husband, Wayne. He tells me, be angry at negative thoughts. So when a negative thought comes up this year, I'm actually being angry. I'm getting pissed off. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm speaking back to it. I'm speaking back God's truth to it. I'm speaking about my own truth, my own belief, my own faith towards it. So transformation really begins in your mind you know the bible says be transformed by the renewing of your mind this begins in your mind and so we have to take our our thoughts captive we have to be vigilant we have to guard and we have to consider our 
bad thoughts as our enemy. When I have a negative thought, I literally have a chemical reaction. I mean, a physical chemical reaction. And my cortisol goes up and it starts to affect my eyesight, different things inside of me. So I, when I have a positive thought, it's a complete opposite. So I'm really um, strengthening my, my meditation this year, strengthening my diet and my exercise. And the final thing is um, that I read was, do not think of yourself more highly than you should, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you. And in a, in a nutshell, um, this is not saying that you shouldn't have self-confidence. It's not saying that you shouldn't have self-belief. It's not saying that you shouldn't um, put yourself first. It's just saying that be, be balanced, be measured. Don't think of yourself higher than you should. Um, rather, um, see yourself as a citizen of the, a global citizen, a citizen of this world, and think of how your life could add value to other people's life. And um, where you can help, where you can contribute to someone else's life to make it better, do so. And um, think of yourself really this way, I think is a good way. Think of yourself as that catalyst, right? That catalyst that was put here to create change and to affect other people's life in the most positive way. You're not better than anyone. And obviously you're not to think of yourself as a doormat to anyone. But think of yourself as that perfect glue, that perfect connection, that perfect uh, complement to those in your circle of influence. Have a wonderful 2019. And um, in my next couple of videos on this particular chapter, I wanna um, discuss a couple more things that really spoke to me. And I hope that you can uh, implement in your life as well. Take care. God bless.